Hi, this is Bob, W9RAN. Some of you may have read my articles in QST about cheap and easy software-defined radio. In this video, I'd like to show how this inexpensive SDR technology can bring new life to older ham gear, providing features that rival modern radios. I'll demonstrate this using a Heathkit HR10, which was sold for around $80 in kit form as a beginner's receiver. I think the HR10 is a pretty good little receiver for what it is. It's fairly sensitive and stable, and while the two-pole crystal filter provides better selectivity than most low-price receivers, it is a compromise for all modes. The HR10 is a basic superhet radio with two stages of IF at 1681 kilohertz. For this demonstration, I tap the output of the mixer tube using a small capacitor to feed the same signal to the SDR that normally goes into the crystal filter and the radio's IF and audio stages. The heart of the cheap and easy SDR is a digital TV dongle that includes a VHF UHF tuner. My Ranverter converts the HF bands into a range that can be received by this dongle with all the filtering, detection, and audio being performed by SDR Sharp software running on a PC. The latest version is called the Ranverter Pi. It's an easy to build kit using all through hole parts that can be used as a remote SDR server with the inexpensive Raspberry Pi computer or as a standalone SDR connected to a PC as I'm doing here. Now let's take a listen to what the HR10 sounds like with digital signal processing and a spectrum display that works just like a pan adapter to show more than 100 kilohertz on either side of the IF frequency. All tuning will be done by turning the HR10's tuning knob and the audio you hear is coming from the PC. The Ranverter brings the visual display of a pan adapter, but also brings the audio and digital signal processing capabilities of a second receiver that operates in parallel with the basic radio. It's a fun way to bring some new life to an older boat anchor receiver. 
Thanks for watching.